Hi, I'm Rick Brown. You may recognize me from my public television series, Barbecue America. But on that series, I wore a red and white tablecloth shirt. Yeah, tablecloth. Or perhaps you recognize me from my outdoor channel show, Ready Aim Grill, where I teach fishermen and hunters how to cook up what they bring home. But my next project is going to be a lot of fun. I'm getting into restaurant history. I'm going to dress up like an 1800s waiter. Because the book and TV series is called A Century of Restaurants. We're going to visit 100 of America's oldest restaurants. I mean, these are old. Some of them are 300 years old, like the White Horse Tavern in Rhode Island or the old 76 house in New York. Some of them are merely 200 years old, like the William Penn Inn in Pennsylvania and McCready's in Charleston. Today, I'm in Dan and Louie's Oyster Bar in Portland, Oregon. This restaurant was started in 1907. And you know what? They haven't changed the recipe for their oyster stews since then, other than to put in less salt. Very savvy people. And you know what? Here's, here's a menu. We have oyster cocktail for 90 cents. We have their oyster stew, which again, hasn't changed in over 100 years for 95 cents. I'll tell you what, we're going to enjoy this and we hope you will enjoy it too. These are restaurants that serve the likes of George Washington and Ulysses S. Grant, Harriet Beecher Stowe, Calamity Jane, Doc Holliday, Ben Franklin, Paul Revere, Clarence Darrow, Jack London. They're fantastic. It's again, American culinary history. I'm going to be driving 9,000 miles around the country and at $2.90 a gallon, that's expensive. And you know what? We're going to be staying in some motels. We're not going to stay in five-star motels. We're going to stay in half-star motels. But it's going to cost a lot of money to visit all the restaurants in all 50 states. That's why I'm counting on your help. I need small donations, large donations, anything. Please tell your friends, your family, your acquaintances, your business partners about a chance to be a big part of an important historical project about America's oldest restaurants. And for heaven's sake, keep track of us on our blog. And you know what? We're going to go to some special places, but we've got a special table reserved just for you.